If you are forgiving, you might describe Stafford's town centre architecture as eclectic. If you're less tolerant of the planner's little foibles, you might wonder at the lack of a coherent vision for the town. History hangs on with St Chad's Church, built in the 12th century, and the oldest building in Stafford, with lots of Romanesque renovation by the Victorian George Gilbert Scott in the mid-19th century. But just across the road is Staffordshire County Council headquarters, completed in the last few years and a prime example of commercial architecture designed to offend nobody and excite nobody. We're told the designs by Architects 3D Reed were modified to ensure the scheme will fit easily into Stafford's historic townscape. Well, it's difficult to see what relationship the buildings may have with either their high Victorian predecessors designed by Henry Hare back in 1895 or the crooked timber frame of the ancient high house built 400 years earlier for the Dorrington family and reputed to be the largest surviving timber frame townhouse in England. A delightful Georgian townhouse sits between the old and new county council buildings and just across from the ugly 1970s police station now facing demolition after just 50 years of useful life. No doubt it will be followed by another nondescript commercial development completely out of scale with the town and in an architectural genre doomed to the dustbin of history. I suppose Stafford now has such a mishmash of architecture it's become impossible for the town planners to object to anything the commercial developers demand.